MIDI Flow is a new app which allows you to control the MIDI data flow between synth apps and between your keyboard and your synth apps. In this video I'm going to show you how you can use it to play multiple synth apps on your keyboard. In particular I will use that app to split the keyboard in order to play I Grand Piano on one half and Waldorf Nave on the other half. In order to use the app MIDI Flow in its full extent there is a little preparation needed. MIDI Flow receives MIDI data from your keyboard and from your apps and lets you decide where this MIDI data should go. For this to work, you have to go to the settings of each synth app that you want to use and make it receive data only on its own virtual port. It's very important that your synth apps don't receive data from your keyboard or any other app directly because this would bypass MIDI Flow. So first I'm going to start Nave and go to its MIDI settings. There you'll see a list of MIDI ports and I'm going to disable all of them. Now I start MIDI Flow and the first thing that I want to do here is to configure my input keyboard. So in my case it's the iRig MIDI interface and it is receiving on channel 1. When I play now on the keyboard I hear nothing, which is good because I've made sure that Nave is not reacting to the notes. Well, in order to play Nave with the keyboard, I'll add a new routing. A routing consists of a source app, a filter or modifier, and a destination app. First, I'm going to select the source, which is my input keyboard. And as a destination, I'll select Nave. When I play on the keyboard now, I can hear Nave. As a second app, I want to use iGrand Piano, because it has a very different sound. So I'll start it, and go to its MIDI settings. Unfortunately, in this app there is no way to specify on which MIDI ports it's receiving. It's just receiving on all ports, and when I play the keyboard now I can hear Nave of course, but also the piano, and I don't want that, because this is bypassing what I've specified in MIDI Flow before. There, I routed the input keyboard only to Nave. There are quite some apps in the App Store which have a very limited MIDI implementation like that, or even worse. So if one of your synth apps lacks the ability to control on which MIDI port it's receiving, then you really should contact its developer and request a better MIDI implementation. However, one good thing about iGrand Piano's MIDI implementation is that you can make it receive on a distinct channel, which is better than nothing. So what I will do now is setting it to a channel which is different to the one that my input keyboard is sending on. If you remember, it's sending on channel 1, so I'll choose channel 2 here. When I play the keyboard now, I hear nothing besides Nave. So I switch back to MIDI Flow now and create a second routing. I also choose the input keyboard as a source and iGrand Piano as a destination. By the way, if one of your apps is not showing up here, then you should check if you have started it already and make sure that it's configured to run in the background. Now, since the piano app is receiving on channel 2, the data from the input keyboard in channel 1 has to be transformed to channel 2. And I can do that by applying a modifier. At the bottom, there's a control to remap the channel. The default value is 1 and I will change it to 2 now. Because it can be annoying to always make the setting here when you want to use the piano app in MIDI Flow, you can enable this switch. This will make MIDI Flow automatically apply this channel remapping when you add the selected destination app again later. As a quick demonstration, I'll add another routing and select iGrand Piano, and you'll see that channel 2 is already selected in the modifier. So I'll delete this routing by swiping up. When I play the keyboard now, I can hear both synth apps. If I enable monitoring down here, I can also see where the MIDI data is going. It's coming from the input keyboard and going to each app. Great, but I wanted a split. Actually, I want to have Nave on the upper part of my keyboard, so I have to filter out all notes below a certain note. For that, I go to the modifier screen and set the key range to start at, let's say, C4. When I play now below that note, the notes are not sent to Nave anymore. When I play above that note, I still hear both sounds. So I'll go to this modifier screen and set the upper note to be 3.
Now I can play both apps independently. That's how you play two apps in a split configuration with MIDI flow. Thanks for watching.